Hello, I'm Ronaldo Jarano from Alto University, and I will present our work in progress paper entitled Towards Enhanced Life Visualization Based on Communication Delay Prediction for Remote AGV Operation on EDFA 2021. Our main objective is to find better ways to represent uh, physical assets through virtual uh, immersive environments. So um, the main context of our work is based on our definition of digital twin. For us, a uh, digital twin is an animated 3D model that renders live data from the physical system. So in our work, uh, we have uh, three major components, uh, an AGV, which is the machine that we are, uh, the automated machine that we are uh, using as a physical system. And then we have some uh, computing or interfacing uh, processing units that can be the cloud or uh, servers and premise. And we have a network component that match that link those two uh, ends of uh, our system. Unfortunately, the network uh, suffers from latency, which is the delay uh, of tr uh, information traveling through the network that sometimes can use VPN and uh, internet, or it can be in the same place. Um, Jitter, which is the variation of uh, such uh, uh, latency. So those are the biggest problems. And based on diagnostic information and the IT technologies that uh, the robot and the system use, which are Wi-Fi, Ethernet, IP, TCP, and VPN, we are trying to predict the missing information or predict the information that comes delayed uh, due to the non-deterministic behavior of uh, long-distance communication. Usually, uh, when the, we start having delays, our uh, animation becomes lag, and it doesn't uh, look smooth, and sometimes it's not accurate enough. So the animation can be made uh, coming, uh, can be made uh, resembling the velocity data or the position localization data. So there are two ways to animate: straightforward, which is uh, update by update, um, or post to post, which is um, an initial update telling you the initial uh, status of the robot, and uh, second update telling you the final position. And then as you reconstruct the displacement uh, in between, so you fill the gap however you, you like. So in our case, we are trying to make the post to post, but uh, we are trying to overcome the, the delays um, produced by the communication. So we have four main components in our architecture, the shop, the shop floor, we have the road that has a, a path planner. Uh, then we connect the path planner and the post report to uh, a closed server to VPN uh, over the internet. And in our closed server, we host our delay predictor and position estimator, which is uh, which are our algorithms. And uh, we provide the visualization to uh, Godzilla Engine and GZ Web. Uh, the clients can render it to a web browser uh, remotely uh, in a location closer to the closed server than uh, our chip. Server. So the algorithm has uh, like uh, four main um, actions. One is predicting the delay, which is based on the last four seconds, the, the window, and it predicts the next second. Then before the um, displacement starting the robot, it reports the path plan. When the path plan is get and the robot is get from the predictor and um, uh, the displacement start, then uh, we have a parallel action, which is periodic and uh, uh, also is happening by exception when the new post report comes from the robot. So we are checking if the progress of the path is uh, happening uh, uh, in the sequence, in the correct sequence. So if the robot is moving forward or not. And then uh, we are detecting if uh, there is something wrong with those reports or the reports are not coming. In that case, we're just displaying uh, the path plan, but we are presenting uh, the delay information as a color in the robot. So to predict the uh, delays, we use a data set based on um, um, the, the uh, RTT, the road trip time, uh, capture in between Helsinki and uh, Sur Amsterdam uh, with a sampling rate of one second. We put it, uh, we feed it to a recurrent neural network and uh, we use 80% for uh, training, 20% for testing, uh, 20 uh, training networks. So as I mentioned before, the idea is to um, uh, make a playback of the path plan and change the color of the road depending on the variation of the information, the certainty of the position. So we have challenges of incomplete information. Sometimes the robot doesn't send us all the orientation and sometimes the, our predictor doesn't can get, there is a correlation, but the magnitude is not completely correct. In conclusion, we present uh, our uh, 
priorities, uh, making uh, dynamic visualization of an ADP, and uh, in the future we will continue working on overcoming uh, the the problems of game partial plans, missing orientation, and uh, having a more accurate uh, prediction of uh, delay. Uh, you can find a complete description of our algorithm in the preprint uh, in this link. Thank you.